My name is Muhammad Burhan Kandia. I'm the head of Arabic and Islamic studies and member of the senior leadership team at uh, Zaytuna Primary School. Ramadan is, uh, is the name of the ninth month in the Islamic calendar, which is based on, on the moon. It's a lunar calendar. And it's a month in which a particular aspect of worship within Islam takes place. And that act of worship is fasting. The adult Muslims are expected to fast between uh, sunrise and sunset. The, the, the act of fasting requires a person to leave any kind of drink, uh, any food and any intimacy with one's spouse during those daylight hours. The, the idea of, of going through this kind of a process and going through a sacrifice is to develop the inner dimension of the human being. And so when we give up physically, that has an impact on our attitude, uh, it has an impact on our soul in terms of our empathy towards others has an impact in, in, the, in the aspect of, of gratitude for what we already have. Uh, the, the Prophet peace be upon him mentions a, a beautiful saying and he says none of you is a true believer uh, if he sleeps with his stomach full whilst his neighbour goes hungry. And here neighbour he does not specify Muslim. And the scholars say in this term here neighbour it does not mean Muslim, does not mean of the same race, colour, Arab, you know, family, non-family, it has no, neighbour is neighbour, there's no restrictions to who can be your neighbour. Uh, and so this is really about bringing uh, the, the human race into connection with one another and re removing that self, uh, selfish element from ourselves and becoming selfless. At the end of Ramadan, um, normally, to be honest, uh, it's a sad time. Uh, Muslims are generally quite nervous at the beginning of Ramadan, you know, how are we going to do it, what's going to happen and once they get into it, they're kind of used to it and they adapt to it and it just becomes second nature. By the end of it, they fall in love with it and they're like, we don't want it to end now, you know, we're really enjoying this. But there is, um, the next day is, is the beginning of the new month, the first of Shawwal it's called. Um, and on this day, it's a celebration of hope that all of the worship that we have performed in the month of Ramadan has been accepted and that God has forgiven us our sins and that the good deeds and the good habits that we have formed and practiced during the month of Ramadan will, will carry forward with us after this month as well. So it's really a, a month of hope and a month of celebration and a month of uh, celebrating achievement because it is a, it's a great achievement, I believe, uh, for, for humans to go through that, giving up those uh, comforts and those delights for a whole month.